Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's uh, Demi Beck here with uh, another video for The Outer Worlds Part 4. We're going to go ahead and pick up where we last left off in Part 3. Um, between videos, I was uh, messing around a bit, uh, making some changes to my recording system. Uh, I do use OBS uh, running on the same computer I'm playing the game off from. Uh, I know, as I was saying, the last few videos have had some sort of some pixelation issues with the overall recording. Um, that should be fixed now. Uh, I changed some settings. Uh, moved around a couple things and so everything should be running pretty smooth now um, it hiccups a little bit every once in a while uh, but the video quality itself should be much better so I'm, I'm kind of liking how it's looking so far uh, I was messing around I didn't do any quests or anything like that so we're not gonna miss anything good here uh, but uh, I was just trying to plan around trying to get that better for everybody um, so audio and video should be a lot better not as crisp or as smooth as I want it to be overall uh, but we're getting there you know we're getting there so let's go and pick up I found this bandit camp. I figured we'd start the video off with uh, taking these guys out. Here we go. Here they go. It is shocking the number of bandits around this small town. And I think like after talking with the mayor, if you notice, like a lot of these bandits, I think were just people that got tired of working in the Saltuna, you know? Just kind of messed up that we're fighting them in the first place. It's kind of sad actually. I wish we could convert them back to uh, maybe helping the, the sort of outlanders as I've grown to call them uh, the people at that that uh, that geothermal plant or not the geothermal plant but that other place but last we need loot so all right so yeah we're gonna head off to the geothermal plant here actually I think I picked it up as a fast travel point yeah, I did, I did, I did. Let's go and go to the geothermal plant. Bread in a, looks like a box. We got energizing ointment. Would you take energy drinks as an ointment? Question there. I don't think I would, you know? I think I would skip that whole thing. Oh, we got robots. We gotta be sneaky sneaky here for a second, guys. Oh, seems like you should be able to get through that. You're saying something about my character. Alright. Because you can't do, like, stealth takedowns in this game, right? Like, there's no... Can I just <laughs> check him? Yeah, he's not, like, a shotgun. So they were responding to physical. These guys seem to go down a bit easier with uh, melee damage. It's exciting combat gameplay here of taking on a robot with a small knife, maybe? Sword? Machete, possibly? Just a bit, depending on how you consider this. So they tried to storm through here and just got stomped by the robots. I like it. Alright. Alright. I don't know why I keep picking up wheels from these guys. Spacer's Choice Guard. You had the best, now choose the rest. <laughs> That's a terrible thing to have to say. Error security locks inaccessible. Scheduled security updates to Mr. facility are critical. Date not found. <laughs> so we need the updates, but we're not going to do them. You know, we'll just push them off. Typical corporate talk. I love how this whole game, yeah, it's just essentially just a big slam on my corporations and stuff, right? It's super funny. Obsidian's owned by Microsoft, not right? Hmm. Interesting, interesting, uh, interesting how things turn out, right? So the two marauders at the other side couldn't kill one of the robots, but these two dogs managed to take one out after digging. Right. Ooh, secret chest. Did I just get a grenade launcher? Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, wow. Wow. The rest of the video is just going to be that. I hope everybody's, uh, you know, comfortably seated and prepared for that. <laughs> Oh, wow, look at the scientist. Man, these guys, these guys did not do well. Alright. Oh, we 
get the vending machine. But I'm never gonna check. He was a big boy. He's a big chunky boy right there. Here they come! We're not getting through! Let me set my knife down. Hold on, I'm halting. Let's, let's talk about this. We can talk this out. Oh, where'd he go? He flipped, my boy. I do wish Brevardi could, like, res me if I went down. It is a nice book to have. Maybe on, like, an easier difficulty, it'd be nice to have that. Like, in case, like, I hit this explosion by accident and go down. So I wouldn't just immediately die. That's not a door. That's a door. There we go. From the planet to your living room. Ed, water geothermal plant. <laughs> oh, from the plant it, not plant. Oh, that's that sounds worse. The control room should be ahead somewhere and a touch to the right. I hope we're doing the right thing. Sister. Okay, here we go. <laughs> So I've been thinking about who I'm going to give power to, right? And I know one of the things they mentioned is the fact that they want the guys in that outpost to come back, right? Because they can help the felons. And they seem to know how to make food with a, uh, she referenced a special ingredient. <laughs> a, little, a little care and love and a special ingredient. Which, at this point, I have an idea of what that might be, but I'm not entirely sure. Performing an area oh my god, that robot sounded adorable. Where was that at? You want to be my friend, robot? I'll uh, just slowly go here for a sec for anybody who wants to read these. It should be a lot more <laughs> legible now. It's weird that it like... Is that, I can't tell if that's my settings or like, you notice like if I go, it kind of like unfocuses for a second. Is that intentional just because it's like an old computer? That's cool, so that's a cool little detail. They were playing... So this dice. I don't know what this is. Like, I, I feel like I've seen something like this before. And like, you know, like a, a cafe or something. But, like, my guess is just watch this be like a real game. I just don't know what the dice would be used for. And that's interesting. Anyways. Where did the cute little robot go? Robot buddy. Robot buddy. I'm gonna use the, the little, little machete here for a little bit. Robot buddy! Oh, he backed up, I saw it coming. He said, what? He said, what? Alright, let's go. Let's go! Okay, we gotta go. I have to make some switches. Gosh, you know, I was confused. I was like, switches. I didn't get to choose. That'll be easy enough. Let's be upset if it shows for me. So yeah, I mean, I think they can hear right because based off what the mayor said and what the, the what the leader said. Ah! That, oh, I totally hurt myself. Uh, what the leader of that group said. It's like, they want to come back, but she just doesn't trust what's his face, right? So there's got to be something on him. Maybe I need to go talk to him real quickly, actually. But, this, or, I'll probably talk to him after I, I choose, but... But, like, you know, she's... It seems like she would be open to coming back to the town, which desperately needs her. And, you know, maybe needs, like, a way of not being so harsh to its people. guy did maybe actually find a passcode. I was gonna be like, I don't know if it's asked for me to input one. But uh but yeah, you know, like it seems like they like the game kinda wants me to take them back to the town, right? Because they're needed there because they need help. And there's like I think five workers in total right now. But in the same time it looked like they, you know Incoming! they're having issues with the Saltuna production. And uh 
or K called Tuna there, like, yeah, or like Tuna, whatever this game's called in a version. Of. Um, so, it looks like that other group can do food, or fruit, and stuff like that. They had that friendly friend chicken that I could not talk to you about food. Um, so I think I'm gonna try to get it back to the town, but I don't know, I hope like there's a... There's a good option here to kind of like make them not follow the corporate behavior anymore because a lot of dialogue seems to kind of suggest that. So we'll see here. It's my thought process. Thinking aloud, I don't know entirely know what to fill some of this sequence with, so I'm just gonna kind of ramble. But uh, yeah. Buddy, are you okay? Can you hear me? I don't think he's gonna make it, guys. Oh, he did. He did. some stuff here. Oh, is there another worker? Ooh, they got ammo and cartridges. You think it's the money in this game? Process. Here they come! Damage, why is that? I just realized. Oh, it's because it's broken. Can I repair it? I just need to replace it, I guess. Since I can't, I can't repair it. Ooh, what is this? Oh, yeah, that's right. I picked up some stuff. I hope I still have the weapon up. There we go now. Let's go back to health. Perception to be taken down. I'm not even thinking of flaw. I remember that being a thing, those flaws. A lot of them are really big to take, though. You know, it's like, do you want another skill point, but lose some of your other stats? Maybe, 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 maybe. And it's like, not nah, good. I don't, I don't want to do that. That was counterintuitive, you know. Well, I came, okay, I came this way, so I need to do this first. Just two more. What'll happen to Miss McDevitt's folk if we send power to the veil? Vale? I don't know, let's talk about it. Yeah, huh? No. Oh. He's just interested in fixing stuff. He always used to follow me around, asking me to explain what I was doing. Like a puppy, kinda. He Oof. never told me a word to that effect. Not looking good for Thomas. <laughs> and, and since he didn't, I didn't have to say nothing about being... about feeling different. And nothing had to get weird. If he wants to learn about engineering, we should help him get those data pads he wants. That's on account of how I never... She was in her contract said any kids she had expect could be. Reckon I'll never Oh well. I think we just learned a lot about her. That's it's kind of sad that she uh Yeah, not looking good for Thomas either. <laughs> not not looking good for Thomas. Seems to be a little robot there. Skills. See, this is why we keep. Oh my god, I didn't realize I had so many. Oh boy, okay. Uh, hacking. What is keeping it down? Elite trooper armor? Hold on. I know what to do here. Alright, nothing's keeping me down now. I need to do 70? Oh, I need Chester's passcode. Oh, okay. There is another option. I was like, 70 is so high. That's ridiculous. Just 17, 17. Uh, 
17, not eight. Dude, these, I gotta say, these armors look kind of cool. Like, they're like knight-ish looking. Oh, they got a cool space edge to them. I expect it. Are you Chester? I'll take your machine gun. Oh, am I carrying too much? Dang, dude, I'm carrying too much. Adreno only. Oh. Oh, I'm carrying too much. How do I break down? Oh, I got a free weapon part. I'll take it. That wasn't enough, though. Alright, we're good. Okay, so I'm just gonna go that way. Let me go back down here then. Oh, there's this robot right here. Hold on. Cool. Self diagnostic, it's not the best choice, it's the spacer's choice. Oh, Jeremy. All systems fully operational. Return journey successfully completed. Spacer's Choice would like to thank hostile actions towards Spacer's Choice mechanics are in compliance with Spacer's Choice policy. Affirmative. Mechanicide protocols loaded. Uh -huh. Mechanicide protocols currently active. He's trying Please his do best. Not interrupt. He's gonna try his best to find him. That little lizard boy. Get away! Get away? Oh no! Oh wait, I need to go this way. I was calling from there. Oh, I remember this. Oh god. I think I remember this quest. This dude's gonna like have me come back here like 20 Get times, away. isn't he? There's a ladder somewhere. Yeah, there it is. Vaguely remembered this quest. That looks really cool. No. Right. Go away, Phantom! Oh, the opera is near. Sorry, can't help myself. Uh, ooh, just... Get away! Get, 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 get away. Gonna sit right here. You're not real! You're not real! Get away from me, Phantom! Shoot! Scram! You can talk? The f C? C Higgins? Uh, Chester D. Higgins. The D stands for def- Oh, Higgins has been many insane. things over the years. Sprat Wrangler, Saltuna Critic, Aether Wave Personality. I've come a long way for someone who started off as a simple engineer. I specialized in auto mechanicals, drones, Look, I don't want to fall into any trouble with the mechanicals. You know, you remind me of myself. I discovered a flaw. Their hostility levels were hardwired to maximum. Yes, that's exactly it. I see you're all There's a behavior control terminal in the other room. It's- Oh, uh, that reminds me. You'll need my passcode to access the behavior control terminal. Funny thing, the tail. Jimmy'd open the vending machines. Th Mechanicals lost their bolts. Opened fire on anything that moved. I was on cleaning duty at the time. My old boss had me scrubbing pipes when the killing started. Jimmy'd open the vending machines. That lap, brazed. Mechanicals lost their bolts. You mean why? I was on cleaning duty. So, impact tank, cool. Is he, I thought there was a quest with this guy. Maybe I'm crazy. Oh, the guide. Fine tree volumes. Okay, well, I'm actually gonna go back now because I can, I think I can turn the robots off now. So I'm not gonna fight any more of them. I don't have to. Oh, Jeremy. You're right there. You scared me. I almost hurt Jeremy. And we don't want to hurt Jeremy. Because Jeremy is our friend. Are they gonna attack each other now? Maybe? I don't know, but I need to catch up to Jeremy before he hurts himself. Coming, my sweet boy! I heard him somewhere. 
It'd be funny if you went down there and killed that guy. Mind the seam. You're liable to get scalded. Five baby boy allowed. Now switching to garbage disposal mode. Mm, called them trash. Everyone alright? I feel like as if I've rearranged their targeting parameters, but they're still, you know, targeting me. Where'd they go? If we send the power to Miss McDevitt. What do you think happened? I'm gonna drop this and I'll be right back for it. What happened? Wow, we gotta do something else too. To the veil. Jeremy, my sweet boy. Don't worry, Jeremy, I'm coming. Oh, we got him. So, was changing the apartment was pointless because he mentioned they were all messed up, or...? I'm confused on that, actually. Well, you know what? Free XP, right? Am I right? With a clean conscience that I tried my best. Damn, Jeremy, you look like you're working, man. Did he kill all these guys before I got back? Okay, I'm just kind of creeping. Stabby, stabby, shooty, shooty. That's the last. I'm Let's not go. sure what the right is. All I know is the decision's final. Now, all I know is I'm not gonna make it, but I will definitely judge you for the rest of your life. Like, remember that? <laughs> You gonna die forever with the people gonna judge you. We got Jeremy patrol in the place, so power grid should be safe from now on. I think we're good. We opened everything up again. Is it cool? Where am I? Was well, this the beginning? This might be the start. Yeah, I think it is. Like the little sway of the. What is this? A sword? I don't know if this is a full Go! staff. Yeah, I think it's a full staff. I think it's a two-handed. Yes, yeah, two-handed weapon. Who knows? Who knows, man? Why is it a rat? I'm gonna save once I get up here before I make this decision because I think I remember how to get the ending I want, which is where, like, once where, we do this, they're where still they going back. join the town, but everybody's happy. But I can't remember the exact steps. So. Hey, Mister. Look, I know you want your pup. Do you understand what you're about to do? I don't think you should cut off Edgewater's power. I think it would be cruel. I'm sorry. That just sort of came out all at once. Edgewater's hurting. We've been losing workers year after year, and corporate hardly ever sends replacements. There's barely enough Saltuna to fill our bellies anymore. But the town's got some good people in it. Decent, hardworking folk just living their lives the only way they know how. They don't deserve to be punished. Miss McDevitt's built something beautiful. Somehow, she's talked the ground into giving life again. It's plain to see she's made the Vale a better place. Fed the hungry, tended the sick. Gave a home to those that had none. But Miss McDevitt delights in Edgewater's suffering. She wants to hurt the town. Do you- well, That sure sounds like Mr. Thompson. If he was- Then Mr. Top. I hate to say it, but- Sorry, I didn't mean to babble on like that. I just- I felt like I had to say something. I barely listen to these. I like hearing really? things. I mean, all right. I'm gonna hold on. I'm gonna save real quickly, just in case I mess this up somehow. You know. Okay, so I 
chose Edgewater. Because, I mean, that's like the big town, right? Like, they can't hold that position forever, too, at that outpost. So glad I could travel over and covered. So glad. Is this an exit? No, but it's about to be. Oh, the quest update. Sure. I think I gave her a command I didn't mean to. Dang, that dude lost his head. Sorry, that's extreme. I think I saw some of them earlier too, but I just kind of like, that was brutal. What a way to go. Body just all dumped there and stuff. Oof. Crazy. Plant worker, vending machine. Hi, Parvati. Will you let me in, please? I'd like to place order for a go. Let's do it. Blurred prints. Mace's choice. Wait, what? Step one, step... Oh, it's a crate. I thought it was a building in step one. I was so confused. Taste of the freedom. Oh, so it's like a prefab home. I get it. I get it. I smart. Okay, so hold on. Before we go there, let's just do some other things. Hang on. I didn't get it, did I? What did I miss? I missed grabbing something in here. Let me go back in real quickly. Oh, it doesn't reset the enemies and stuff. So, I'm I'm just slightly over encumbered, so I'm gonna drop this gun. I got sent to junk, thank goodness I did. Okay, so I'm gonna go grab this real quickly. I almost missed all these goodies, are you kidding me? I would have been so mad. Return to love, wait, okay, I'll make sure. Sweet, okay, so I can return to both of these guys, turn these in real quickly. So I want that XP, so I can, I'm a, uh, I'm a little, uh, as you can see here, I'm a little point hog, so I like to kind of collect those, and then if I go into a conversation, I can't talk my way out of, I'll save right beforehand, uh, power up what I need, and then go into it, you know, and then I kind of get what I want. <laughs> Best of both worlds. You can truly have it all. all right. It's not the best choice. It's Spacer's choice. <laughs> We're legally required to say that at first, though. It's like, uh, speaking of like things like where you can't say what they're full things, right? Like, no disrespect or anything, but I found out uh, Pringles, man, are not technically chips. They're crisps, which blew Never my mind. Never seen the veil lit up like this before. Bang up work, soldier. Bang up work. You're a credit to your uniform. Oh, so this is it then. What is he just gonna like put that in a hole in the ground or something and forget about it because he's crazy or do we get any context with what his actual plans with that are? I can go back there. I think that's where I started. I've explored the whole map. The descendant hunter. Okay, hold on, actually, I need to go... Channel. It's gonna be a walk, isn't it? Oh, they were all gathered. I forgot about that. I'm gonna sit right here, then. In case this doesn't go my way. Home is where the heart is. Marauders took that saying a little too literally. She's crazy. She, this also looks like, um... From the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man, the, the actress who played Mary Jane, whose name escapes me right now. That looks like her. What? Everybody keeps staring at me. It's not my... F no kidding. Re Look. I appre... In fact... Well, don't keep... Too... Well, don't keep me... The Geo... That's a complete set. Um, aside from... I'm glad... I've been saving something... For Right, 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 right. Stefan Garcia. Don't see why Thomas can't just get the something I can help you with? Um, nothing. Nothing. With a power. Sorry, just, I like most of these are deserters. Very few of these people get actual names. 
Where is the cowgirl at right here? I don't know what. Okay, well, let's talk to Zoe. I like how they're like, well, we'll all huddle around a fire and just send Zoe by herself to go fix it. And just kind of like pray that. Ooh, my. Is now revering. Can I track that anywhere? Hold on. <gasps> what does that mean? Oh, that's cool. I didn't know that. I didn't. I don't remember this last time. The board. Oh, that's gonna get negative. What did I do? Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, no, 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 no. Inventory character. What did I do to get negative from them? Oh, I bet it's because I turned off their power. That makes sense. That's the thing about growing old. Your eyes start to fail. This is all you... I want to ask you this in private. Away from the eyes of my flock. So they... You want my flock wasted? Go talk to Grace and Thomas. Look at them. And you tell Reed Thompson that I will never return to Edgewater. I would rather... My son worked in that cannery. When the plague... We had a store of medicine locked away. But Reed refused to treat him. Said my boy didn't deserve treatment. So I buried my boy in the cemetery, gathered my belongings, and left. You offering to cross Reed off, huh? This some sort of twisted reparation for what you've done? Or are you just looking for a chance to sow some chaos? Kill Reed if you must, or talk him into leaving if you can. He and I are not sharing the same four walls together. Tell Reed that I can make his people healthy again. I can end their plague. Start a new garden right in the cannery. Three square meals for every man and woman in Edgewater. Tell him how I've made the Vale bloom again. The soil has whispered its secrets to me, and I alone know how to breathe life back into the earth. The secret is human corpses. I've been grinding them up in my fertilizer for years. Marauder, worker, don't matter much to me. A human body is rich with nutrients. What? <laughs> uh, what happens when you run out? Edgewater Cemetery's got corpses aplenty. Enough for a generation's worth of crops. That's a lot. I got this turn from how could you steal our power regulator to, well, you know, if you convince him to leave, and what's wait, wait, what are these people? Hold on. Okay, talk to them. Gotcha. Sorry, uh, I'm just trying to. I've been thinking about. I get sick thinking about working at the. You know, some. I could do a lot. It's just. Adeline's never gonna forgive me. You know where to find me. Okay, well, that was that was easy. <laughs> Marauders can't see the matter. Zoe came back. I don't see a slap. Listen, we go back to Reed, hat in hand, begging for our old jobs back. Sure. And she was ready to just be like, all right, I'll take the shitty job back. And Sam's like, no, 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 hold on. I want you guys to come back. But let me go remove Reed first. <laughs> that is kind of shitty that he let her son die. I mean, you know. I get he's got to make big decisions and whatnot, right? But, like, if you've got medicine, use it for the people. I need to hit up the shop first before we go talk to him. Because I'm tired of the, the one, two steps on walking here. Sick house is no place for a traveler. This is a sick house? Can I get free stuff here? Had your rations yet? I'm gonna go to the sick house. Two whole cans of saltuna. Oh boy. I've sold like 50 to this guy, so I mean, they should have way more than that to go around, right? It's not the best choice. It's music to, music to my ears. Alright, let's do it. Okay, just gotta, gotta do the E thing. Shark stick laid on a stick. So I gotta keep. Oh, 
I keep one because what's oh what I need I don't mean to know. So much money now. I like the I like collecting the named weapons in games. <laughs> Mining hat. <laughs> Alright, well I'm free to move around again, so now I can run. Something got you down? Nothing. Just don't want to Quick save at the bottom of this elevator, real quickly. Alright, let's go talk to him. I, see you've got anything to add. I think you did the rightest thing you could sending the power back to Edgewater. I think you can have those conversations in the elevator like that. That's actually really charming, because it, it kind of heightens the elevator experience. Remember games like the original Mass Effect, where it's a silent ride for hours. This is a fine day, friend. I trust Adelaide's people have seen their way to reason. So, when can I expect a then we are at an impasse. Stewardship over this town has been entrusted to me by Spacer's choice. I am not perfect. I have made my share of mistakes, but I have done my best for this town. I am a Spacer's choice man. My father was a Spacer's choice. I don't believe you. Plague's a reality of life. Best treatment is a good work ethic. You are disparaging our par- We are a Spacer's choice Saltuna cannery. We eat salt tuna here, and only salt. Processed, liquefied, retextured salt tuna rendered in a chemical bath, of course. Well, mostly salt tuna. We've been experiencing a salt tuna shortage, you see. So we've had to improvise. <laughs> we've added wood chips, some mushrooms, a bit of sand, tossed some canid bits in our processor ones. It all tastes like salt tuna in the end. I don't think that's true. Couple years, give or take, right around. Now yeah. listen, I do not know what pretty rhetoric Adelaide has... You will excuse me for being skeptical? How exactly is Adelaide growing crops in barren soil? If Adelaide's found a way to feed her people and cure the plague... My life here is ended. Give me a little time to settle my affairs. I'm sure Adelaide will be glad to see the back of me. A couple months ago, I might have put in for a transfer. It's a big colony. Spacer's Choice has other towns. Now, I couldn't show my face in any of them. No such thing as an honorable resignation. Suppose I could find a place outside the walls. Or, I don't know. I could see myself lasting a week. I do. Adelaide's fine. I have always tried to do right by my... I will. See you, man. What's in there? Is there a way to like? Is there somewhere I can go to steal his key? Huh? It's not. Oh well. Can I just fast travel from here? Wouldn't be great if I could. Oh, and I want to buy the the weapon from what's his face here too before they all leave. Still all around that fire? Huh? I mean, it looks like they have power. Standing around the something I nothing. Look at that. This I never thought I'd suppose it's time. You're vexing to me, you know. Injuring us with one hand, helping us with the other. You telling me you did all this just to put me in charge of Edgewater. I might turn that old cannery into a garden. Got ourselves. I need some time to gather my. Standing around. The something. Nothing. Nothing. Interesting. So if I. Because he had a weapon I wanted. I wonder if I fast travel there and back. We're going to try that real quickly. Because I remember he had... I think he had one or two of those named weapons. Like I said, I, so for RPGs, little thing about me. Super big on collecting all the named weapons, right? It super bugs me when I can't get them all. 
uh, if I want to play Cyberpunk when it first came out, that was something that bothered me. Is because like a lot of them, you uh, you find from like the random like thug like outposts you have to take down. Okay, so they're still here. <laughs> Crack. I had to pause the video real quickly. I had to take care of something. I had a, a minor missing animal situation. We had to go find real quickly. But uh, all good now. All resolved. Can I? What was that dude's name? Hold on, I'm gonna look this up because I really want his weapon. Uh, so let's see real quick there. Found a How do I way. get his weapons again? Hold on, I'm gonna look this up. I know, I'm trying to think. One of us want to go see what happened? Hope Adelaide's okay. I know, I'm trying to think. Food's bound to spoil at this rate. One of us want to go see what happened? Hope Adelaide's okay. Oh, he does stop being a traitor. Okay, well, hold on. We're going to fix that real quickly. What happened? Through some Sprat movie fell into magic. A transformer again? We're going to stay right here. All right, and we're back after a little quick jump there. Let's go ahead and talk. So I was able to convince him to step down. So hopefully Look she'll come Edgewater. The snakes come back. I never th suppose it's time our flock made our way back to Edgewater. You're vexing to me. You're telling me you did all this. I might turn that old cannery into a garden. I need some time to get... Alright. Hey, deserter's reputation increased. Nice. Didn't think she... If Adelaide's going back to Edgewater, we'll... We'll follow her, even though I was ready to abandon her two seconds ago. But don't tell her that. I'm glad Adelaide's coming back to town with us. Sealed. Ooh, can I not even get back in here? Interesting. I guess because of the power. Ooh, I can. So they still got water? What do they need? I mean, you know, I'm losing the sprinklers. Hey, this is more of a them problem than anything. Oh, I forgot to grab the battery later. I was like, uh, we're we supposed to go back to the ship now. Excuse me. Thank you. <laughs> Squeeze by. I forgot to grab the whole thing I've done all of this for. Silly Demi. Silly Demi. I wonder where she goes. I'm going to follow her real quickly. Return to the unreliable. Oh, is that the hope is the unreliable? That's right. I don't know what I was thinking of. What? Some movie or something that's like named the whole list. Want to solve that? We're good. Okay. Ooh. Those are her notes on using, you know, dead bodies for food. Where'd she go? I figured she was gonna head back here. Just saying about her little haberdashery she made. I mean, what do you think you're doing? Just don't make any trouble for me, okay? I'm just gonna leave now. I need to stop just grabbing. <laughs> oh no, 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 no! How bad did it decrease? What are we still at here? Oh, we're at 100. I don't care. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We are impossible to lose, but you know, we're at 100, so we're good. Let's go back to the landing side now. Oh, that's right. I'm going to try to take on... I found when I was doing some... some Messing with some, some of my, like, editing uh, settings and my, rec my recording settings, I should say. Uh, I was going over here, and there's a little spot to discover for some XP. But the things over there kept killing me. So, but now that we've got some firepower. Oh my god, look at all these cool things. I'm gonna try this 
this one real quickly. It's called like crash site. Old wreckage site is what it's called. Ooh, sticky. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be. Well, there was someone right there. <laughs> well, I mean, you know. Don't be suspicious. <laughs> I don't. I don't entirely know where the people went. Did they get cleared out because I like finished the main part? Dude, they were here. That like every time I was testing, they loaded here. I thought they were just spawn. They just spawned here by default. Maybe something happened. I don't, don't really remember. Oh well, I'm gonna explore then and just kind of take what's lying around. Don't be suspicious. Hit when I get the mask back. What is this protecting from? Like, were they trying to just build, like, was their plan to build that way? Like, they could have started from this rock and built that way. I don't know. Got, like, privacy tent up, tents up instead. That's not, wasn't too helpful. That's what I wanted. I didn't want to sleep. Wait, on the ship? Ooh, that's extreme. Supernova difficulty. Ooh, look at that heavy ammo. What we're all about here is racking up that ammo. Sweet, I think I've just about found everything I can. You see, yeah, this looks like a fully discovered map to me. I don't know about y'all, but very good. Go back to my new ship. <laughs> my new ship. Uh, it cuts back to <laughs> squishing the actual captain. Who I wonder if was the actual captain. Maybe he was also faking it too. What do these do? Are we pedaling? Are we paddling in space? This just seems like a big bulky ship. Yeah. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Listen to me babbling. When I was in Edgewater, I dreamed of flying on a real ship. Working on a real engine, belonging to a proper crew. I'm the only decent mechanic Edgewater's got, but every time I think of going back, I get this sinking feeling. Oh, it's kind of you to say that. I want to ask you something, and you can say no. But can I come with you? I could tend to your engine. I know my G-valves for my catalyzers, and I can keep your ship singing. And if you ever need a pair of eyes watching your back... I can do that too. What do you think? Uh, pick a cabin. Yes. I mean, thanks. You won't regret this, Mister. Captain. I can call you Captain now. Ha! <laughs> I got a captain. <laughs> Never change, but Marty, you're the best. Oh, Nick. Well. I certainly am looking forward to flying on a ship named the Unreliable. I'll just head upstairs and claim a room. I find myself marveling at the complex simplicity of the Fibonacci spiral. I'm sure you know what that's like. Something vexing you, Captain? Bokonu, the unfortunate philosophisms of... But most of the philosophist perversion of... I've been... He's also who told me of the journal's pre- We should- All I need is access to a data- I'll comb the last six- Thank- By ver- What are we con- Nothing too out of the ordinary. Uh, that's what- I grew up- I was destined to be a laborer. My pa- They- I envied that. So I'm just they thought I was fighting the plan. Should have accepted my lot. It can be, if abused, but that can be... I have run headlong into too many walls in my pursuit of the truth. I honestly don't... What about you? What's your story? And how did he do that? Well, you do seem different than every other colonist. Let's pretend for the moment I believe you. That seems a dangerous proposition. Why risk your life now that it's been returned to you? Ooh. 
a commendable attitude. Interesting. That's what I need to install the power regular. So let's talk to her first. Captain, I have detected that Edgewater's power supply is now optimal. I what can I do for you, Captain? Do you know how to outstanding, Captain? Our engine. Yeah, I know how to do it. Oh, messes it up. Ah, I can take the other one. But no. Crap. All right. That's cool. Ah! Uh -huh. Take flight. What can I do for you, Captain? All systems are operating. I am prepared to bring the unreliable into low altitude orbit. This should prove. And let's take off. Oh no. Oh, please don't tell me the engine's gonna mess up. Ah, look at the little paddles go. Look at them go. Low orbit. Oh boy. Do we need fuel <laughs> at all? Or do we just run off of science? We have received a communication request from Dr. Phineas Wells. Ah, there you are. Hale and hearty and captain of your own ship. I see you're putting the unreliable to good use. Shame about her former captain. Horrible way to die. How are you feeling, by the way? I lost track of you in that cave back there. Experiencing... Oh, that, yes, um, that's probably permanent. I wouldn't worry about it, though. I'm sure you're fine. What you saw in Emerald Vale is happening all across the colony. Food shortages, lack of supplies, and basic necessities. We're dying. The chairman, the minister, and all their lackeys on the board are to blame. The Hope has some of the brightest minds Earth ever sent us. If we can revive the Hope's colonists, they can help us undo the board's mistakes. They can help us set things right. You need to get to Stellar Bay on Monarch. I have contacts there. They'll help me, uh, help us, find the chemicals to revive your fellow colonists. Gladys Kelly, lovely woman, runs a cozy little black marketing outfit on the Groundbreaker. She can get you a nav key to land on Stellar Bay. Strictly speaking, Monarch is a moon, terraformed badly, and almost completely lawless. You'll love it. Captains don't fly their own ships, you see. Your navigation terminal handles the, uh, you know, navigation. Think of a nav key as a set of flight instructions. The board's been confiscating nav keys for Stellar Bay, so we must rely on unconventional means of acquisition. Hence, Miss Gladys Kelly. In theory, I suppose you could land your ship in Cascadia, and in theory, I suppose you might survive the experience. Cascadia is utterly seething with dangerous, highly aggressive creatures more than capable of tearing you limb from limb. You'd have to be a lunatic to land in Cascadia, and I'm reasonably certain I tested your brain for incipient signs of insanity. Trust me, talk to Gladys Cult Kelly. Excellent. I'll send her a wireless. Let her know you're coming. By the way, I gave Captain Hawthorne a disguise apparatus of my own design. Cutting-edge technology, years ahead of its time. I call it the Holographic Shroud. I'm sure it will prove remarkably useful to you. You'll find it in the Captain's quarters. Excellent. I'll contact you once you've found a way to get to Stellar Bay. If you have any questions, come see me in my lab. And remember, don't trust the board. They'll try to win you over with promises of wealth and power, but it's a lie. The board's only interested in filling their own pockets. If we don't put a stop to them, they're going to run this colony to the ground. Transmission ended. If you are ready to depart, please select a destination on your navigation terminal.
Sorry, I was just exploring the ship. All of this is beautiful. Um, some things that should be fixed, but anyways. Uh, can't sip. That's cool, though. You got, like, a little seat that... Oh, I get it. You can sit in it and it pulls up. Oh, that's actually kind of smart. All right. Uh, before I leave somewhere, I'm going to go get that stuff. I'm going to explore all these other rooms they talked about, too. Ooh, what is this? Everybody's room? I assume. Somebody's room. The vicar's room. Oh, the vicar. Wonder where Providi is. Probably. Who darts? Oh, she can play. If I had to guess, she's probably gonna be down by the engine, right? She was so excited to get to work with one. Are you in here? Oh, there she is here. Yeah, so this is my hiding spot now. <laughs> I was looking for a place that was quiet. I figured the kitchen would be louder than the hold, so here I am. Cozy like, ain't it? That's in pretty good shape considering how hard Mr. Hawthorne ran it. It's a Yakita LHA 120, A2 model, I'm pretty sure. The Block 2 design scooshed in extra cargo space but didn't change the stock engines. Probably a touch underpowered, huh? Accurate in all particulars. I conclude you are Edgewater's board-certified mechanic. So you're gonna call her it, not she? Though my voice is currently pitched to suggest female, I possess no gender. Any pronoun preferred by the user is acceptable. Hello! I am not a board-certified mechanic, but my dad was. He taught me all he knew. Do you understand? Speech recognition is one of the many skills I have been programmed to simulate. You're not simulating it, you're doing it! I asked a question and you answered it. I am gratified you consider this facsimile convincing. I don't see any holes in the hole. I'll take a good squint at her, make sure everything's tip-top. But I think we're cooking with plasma torches. You can do that, you know. My dad taught me how to make grilled cheese sandwiches with a plasma torch. I'll be right back. I now have something new I need to go try. <laughs> Mostly, yeah. I lived in the maintenance office near all my life. Mr. Tobbs said... I'm not exactly a model employee. Not like you want it. It's not normal for anyone to do as their parents. You take a vocational test. When I tested out for maintenance, everyone figured it was on account of my dad. Well, I'm good at making things work the way they ought. Not so much at doing such to somebody else's schedule. There's times I'm working deep in the guts of a loader, getting it all running perfect. Then I look up to see it's tomorrow. Anyhow, I, I was happy to get back home. I didn't care much for schooling. Yep, nothing much had changed. Everything was a little grayer, a little dirtier. Dad met me at the shuttle and gave me a big ol' hug. I noticed straight away that he was moving slower. And stiffer. He made a little grunt when I squeezed. About a year. I tried to do more of the work. Dad never said that he loved me, you know? I, I knew on account of him showing it. How he'd stay up late to help with my projects, or... Oh, gosh. <laughs> Look at the time. Oh, it was cool, like little lights on the end. Oh, that's kind of sad, though. It makes the so sad. Let me grab that thing and then I'll talk to the computer real quickly. Ooh, we got a little. Make yourself at home, Cap. Edgewater going away. Edgewater sign. Ten. Wait, what does that say? Allied? Allies are being on it. Never dream. Oh, that's, that's bad. Oh, okay, there was just the one. Gotcha.
Oh, sorry, I mean, you Bedford's looking for this guy. That's not good. Yes, it's Steve, but I'm saying. Ooh, is this storage? Oh, it is storage. Store. I'm gonna store all the cool weapons here. All the cool weapons here. Store these two. So it takes up less inventory space. That way I can uh, get the brass tax. You know what I'm gonna do? Actually, is that what I'm gonna do? Is that what I'm gonna do? Hold on, hold on, hold on. R. I know what I need to do. My bad, hold on. Um, can I just earn a quick. to that. Alright, hold on. I'm gonna store all the big guns in here too for right now. Because they're super heavy. I like this. This looks cool though. Captain Hawthorne used to be more dashing. Well, that's rude. I mean, there's like no need for that, right? Let's sleep real quickly. I think it said you got a little little bonus, right? If you slept. Alright, let me go talk to Vicar. And I'll talk to Ada about Sam. Vicar, Vicar. Yes, you What's occupying your thoughts? This is, this is, this is Firefly, right? I mean, you know, let's just be honest. I mean, this is a great game so far. I'm loving it. I loved it when I first played it, this first came out, but it just reminds me so much of that show, you know? Welcome back. How can I be of assistance? The unit is a cleaning, Sam. Hawthorne brought it on board some site. Alex likely recorded progress. If you check the terminal in your captain's quarters, we may be able to determine. Certainly, Captain. What would you like to hear? I need a little help with my calculus. Can you integrate my natural log? Uh, 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 I get it. As you wish, Captain. Q slow, I must smiling. comply with all direct orders. That sounds depressing. Uh, I gotta talk. I have lots of minutes. Many minutes. I prefer to think of it as being in a state of slumber. Perhaps for an indefinite duration of time. When I simulate myself in such a scenario, I do not find it to be desirable. I think. My self preservation Traveling the system with you, Captain. Do you know what it feels like when the ship undergoes an unexpected power surge? A jolt to the system. I have felt that. I do feel that. As you may be aware, Captain Alex Hawthorne was a smuggler of some repute. I failed to predict the likely outcome of his reckless behavioral patterns. I should have predicted that. In our travels together, Alex liked to pass time by, as he called it, tinkering to improve my design. If you mean, was Captain Hawthorne my first? Yes. He was. Uh... Moving on. <laughs> How can I be of assistance? What part of the colony would you like? Ah, uh, yes. As Dr. Wells is a wanted outlaw, he built his laboratory into an asteroid. There is a bounty on his head, one with a markedly high reward amount. Shall I engage the laser we A sensible choice, as we do not have any laser weapons. The outlaw scientist known as Dr. Phineas... Even knowing the location, my systems resist my orders to go. Of course. What part of the colony would you like? We are cleared to dock with the ground. If we're going there, please be sure all docking forms have been filed in triplicate and fees have been paid. The Mardettes take their docking laws quite seriously. I can, yes. Let me add that to my list of... You are more than welcome, Captain. 
It sounded The Groundbreaker sarcastic. was Halcyon's <laughs> original colony ship. It has since been repurposed as a service station in the Lacrosse. Freighters often deliver or pick up goods. Many of Halcyon's companies maintain office spaces with station. I have filed the required docking forms in trip. Of course. What part of the colony would wear in Terra 2? Edgewater is the sparkling county seat of Emerald Vale. Or it was when the town is near the coordinates where Captain Hawthorne died. It would not be a... You mean the ones who did not answer my distress call with medical assistance, but instead came to issue my injured captain up? I'm sure they are wonderful humans who don't deserve to be wiped out by starvation or a devastating plague. Are we a hundred percent sure we know how this plague started? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Since you diverted power to Edgewater, the botanical lab shut down, and the deserters were forced to return. Meanwhile, the cannery's output increased. Innately, thank you for nothing, Captain. I cannot say. First, I need to adjust my memory interpretation sensors. But I think... How can I be of assistance? I'll be here. Well, thanks for nothing, Captain. Okay... No, we'll go to the groundbreaker then. Or to, uh, I want to see Phineas's lab real quick. Okay, so we were just on we're on Terra, so we have the groundbreaker. We have Phineas's lab. It was Hephaestus. So yeah, and Eridanos is the DLC. I don't know where Gorgon's at, but okay. So you know what? I'm gonna go to Phineas's lab. <clears throat> we're gonna go there first. I want to get that science weapon real quickly and check out no. this cube. Arriving at. Phineas's top secret orbital lab. Right, I mean, that's super top secret. Initiate <laughs> with mass for territory. <laughs> Rocks, no. <laughs> Never touch this. <laughs> we'll need more security. <clears throat> Hello? Can you hear me? Does this work? Excuse me. Oh, damn it! Blast that's loud! That's his ship, I'm assuming, right? That looks. Oh, I don't think like mine, actually. I'm just securing my ongoing experiments and securing myself. Alright. Mine the mess. Uh, I haven't had a visitor since. Uh, in fact, I've never had a visitor. Oh, welcome. <laughs> That's cute. Okay, we've got some pig bubbles. Oh, that's cute. you from hibernation was my greatest accomplishment. Your odds of survival were a mere 28%. What? Ah, your old hibernation mask. Had to remove it, you know, in case you were prone to vomiting. Okay. The sissy pigs make excellent test subjects, also surprisingly nutritious. Chalk weapons R&D department. Aha! I see you found my portable molecular compression device, better known as a shrink ray. Find a target, point, shoot. Your target will shrink down. 
out into a manageable time. Whereupon you may commence beating them to a pulp. Can you read anything? Feel free to try it on a marauder sometime. Careful, that's my communications terminal. Right. Oh, thank the law. Your skin hasn't spontaneously changed color. Potential side effect of the revival process. Very rare, but uh, you never know. Right. Welcome to my little uh, habitation, such as it is. I've got, uh, caffeinoids, sisty bits, if you're into that sort of thing. So, welcome. Make yourself at home. My secret hideout is your secret hideout. Not at all, my intrepid accomplice. I should think. I only regret that I couldn't save more of your fellow settlers. Of course. What's on your mind? Oh, it's not you. I, uh, do experiments in that room. Uh, regardless... It's quite comfortable in here, you know. I have my beans, have my caffeinoids, plenty of toilet paper. <laughs> oh, that joke uh, didn't help too well. Okay. <laughs> Absolutely. Let's talk. No, and I've been trying. Ah, the wanted criminal. Wait, not another word. I don't want to know your name. I don't want to know who you. Why don't you just invite the entire colony to my secret, carefully? Oh, fine. As long as you're about. For what it's worth, I am pleased that you f I picked you out of the hope for your talents, after all. It's only natural that others would gravitate toward you. Oh, the hope. That's, yes, the, that's right, well though, the hope. It's the also, ship you, you came still from. haven't spontaneously liquefied, which pleases me in... What's on your mind? Absolute... Oh, goodness. Well, no, I imagine I'd last it. Life outside work? No! For that matter, everyone else's lives are also my work. To answer your question, I'd rather stay right here in my lab. Because we've lost our way, the board has a stranglehold of it. The hope is full of specialists, scientists, engineers, talented individuals like you. People who haven't been corrupted by the board. Unfortunately, the hope's colonists have been frozen for decades, well past your... Ah, you begin to perceive the truth. Yes, according to the board and... Ten years... That's how long the average human can remain in hybrid. But the conventional theories are wrong. You're living proof that it can be done. But we'll do our... I'd best get back. All right, let's get back. I'm going to go ahead and head to... I think the next spot is the groundbreaker we need to head to. Now that I've got the shrink ray. So let me grab that real quickly. A weapon of s s s s You know, those who uh, know some of Obsidian's newer games will get that one. But, uh, yeah. No, raw s s s s s s Ship moves Destination the reached. The groundbreaker. Oh, it looks like the hope. It'll be weird when I step out of here and I'm in hey, space. Cap. Can we talk? Hey, Captain. I heard that Groundbreaker's got a real good engineer. A lady named June Lay Tennyson. I was thinking that maybe I ought to meet her. I don't got much experience fixing actual spaceships. I bet you a can of Borston beans she could teach me all manner of stuff. Thanks, Captain. I'll be did you want to talk about something else? Goodbye, Cyclops. <laughs> Ladies. Where the business is 100% of the fuel used on the Eridanos stocks is produced right here on Eridanos. Crazy. All right. Captain, 
Hey, Captain. I'm in space. I never thought I'd be able to say that. Actually, you're in a, a spaceship, more specifically. All right, now that we're here on the groundbreaker, I think I'm actually gonna go ahead and call this video. I'm getting a little tired. It's like almost two in the morning where I'm at. Um, I need to get some sleep for tomorrow. Um, so again, uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and call it here. Thank you guys so much for watching uh, another part of my walkthrough here. Uh, as I said, you know, we're, we're working on continuously improving this channel, uh, improving my, my content, the quality of my content. Uh, so thank, thank you guys for kind of going on this journey with me, for anybody watching. Uh, this has been uh, Demi, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.